Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djcentry.blogspot.com and today I am going to make a super simple, um, kind of sparkly and fun, but still simple, birthday card for you. Now I have pulled my Close to My Heart purple glitter paper pack. Isn't this pack gorgeous? It's a deep, almost eggplanty purple, more of a pinky purple and then more of a purple color so we're going to be using those now you could use shimmer trim if you had the right color or some shimmer trim or you could and actually shimmer trim would work perfectly for this project I just didn't have the purple and um, but you could use any kind of uh, shimmer tape that you happen to have but I just wanted this particular purple I'm also using um, the August Stamp of the Month, the frame set that you can get if you purchase any $50 order um, from Close to My Heart. You can get this for just $5. And this is such a versatile stamp set. It has um, the three different frames, but it also has then several different sayings. Um, just simple greetings, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day for you. Best wishes, wishes, sorry, thanks, thinking of you. Happy Valentine's, happy birthday, and Merry Christmas. And I am using this center frame, and I'm using the happy birthday. Um, also, um, this stamp set coordinates with the brand new artistry cartridge, so you should check that out as well. Um, and I'm running a special right now. If you purchase $100 over at my website in the month of August, um, I will give you a paper pack of your choice. Now, um, I will put the details um, on my blog and you can check it out. And then what you will do is after you place your order, you'll just let me know which paper pack that you want. Um, and I will get that sent to you separate. Don't add it to your order. Now, I have this piece of Distress cardstock that I have already prepped. Now, I learned this technique using Distress inks um, from Jennifer McGuire. And what she did is she blended Distress inks. In this um, case, I believe... I can't even remember. I believe that this is picked raspberry and this is dusty conquered and I blended them together and then I went over the top with white perfect pearls and um, it's just got that nice little shimmer. I'm not showing you how to do that because Jennifer is actually the pro at it. I learned it from her and I will link her video below so that you can learn how to do this but it is so simple and so um, pretty. I love this effect and it's going to go great with my shimmer trim. So, the first thing we're going to do is um, do some stamping. Now, I decided that I wanted to try a new stamp pad that I have. This is a VersaFine stamp pad, and I have played with it a little bit this week. I recently went on um, vacation with my family. We went camping, and I spent one afternoon playing with watercolors. And um, so, I played with this ink, and it worked really, really well. Um, I haven't tried it with this stamp set, but I just wanted to see how it would work with our stamps. So let's just ink up our frame. That's going to go in the middle. Now the card, the the cardstock here is not. This is the Tim Holtz Distress watercolor cardstock um, that I'm using, and um, it works really well with Distress inks, of course. Um, so I am going to make sure I'm not leaving any smudges on my block because that gets me in trouble. And I'm just eyeballing it. I've inked up my stamp and we're just going to eyeball that and set it right in the middle. That Distress cardstock comes with a um, comes the size of a card base, the four and a quarter by five and a half. I've actually trimmed a quarter, um, uh, actually a half inch, so it's three and three quarters by five um, to make it smaller because of the next technique we're going to do. Now that stamped beautifully, except for I made a mistake and didn't get the edge, but that will be easily fixed and we will fix that in a minute. Let me set that set aside. Now, obviously, this happy birthday stamp is very gender neutral. You could use it for boys, you could use it for girls, you could use it. I like it for men, I think, especially because it's just kind of um, simple and bold, not a lot of fluff. But the frame will be the fluff. Now, I'm going to just move this off camera for a second so my head doesn't get in the shot. Make sure I have it lined up the best that I can. Oh, my head's going to get in the shot, sorry. We're just going to set that down. 
just like so beautiful and I really am enjoying this versifying ink I think it does a gorgeous job it just is really really does a good job with fine detail so I'm gonna put my little cover back on there I don't know for sure why that's there but I'm sure it's there for a reason maybe one of you who are pros with versifying can tell me so there we have our happy birthday now I am just going to grab in my little pen holder oh no here it is I have a micron pen and I will just kind of clean up that point now this micron pen is a little bit finer tipped than my stamp was but I can just fill it in and unless you were watching this video you'd never know all right so there we have our card base and we're almost done already so as you can see I have a standard card base here now I cut my own using white daisy cardstock from close to my heart and um, so what this is is this was eight and a half inches wide by five and a half inches um, this direction and I scored it at four and a quarter then I took my paper trimmer and I trimmed off half an inch from one side so um, then what I did is I took my purple glittery paper isn't that gorgeous and I made that just a hair wider so instead of being half an inch wide I made it five eighths of an inch wide so that if my fold got off at all I wouldn't have white showing underneath and I think that just kind of gives it an extra little bit of dimension or, or a little bit of just fun um, and this is going to be a great card to have in my stash obviously for me this is for a girl um, just with the pinks and the purples but um, you could use any colors that you wanted and do the same technique um, if you were using our shimmer trim from close to my heart you obviously wouldn't want to go with a half an inch off you would want to make it a little bit narrower than a half inch um, because the shimmer trim isn't quite a half inch wide I don't believe I've not actually measured it but I think it's a little bit narrower so I'm just kind of being particular making sure I've got that all lined up just like that and there isn't that pretty just by itself that's pretty so now to put this on I am it's a little bit as you can see I, I cut it I, I let's see what did I do here I meant to cut it smaller than what I did it looks like I need to trim just a little bit more off um, because I don't want those to be the same so I'm gonna go back grab my paper trimmer and cut an extra eighth of an inch off the top and the bottom I'm not sure what I did when I cut that, but I should have cut it a little bit narrower. Let's see if that makes it work a little bit better. It's because I know what it is. It's because I trimmed the, this piece this that it's fitting kind of crazy but I am okay with it being more at the top and bottom just because I don't want to trim any more off because I think it'll throw it'll make the, the center look funny now the next thing that I'm going to grab just to give it a little bit more um, pop so I'm going to grab my 3d foam tape from close to my heart and I've not used this narrower tape and actually I shouldn't use it for this one I'm just getting kind of low on this one so let's just put a little bit on the side and what this will do is it will add a little bit of dimension it won't be so much um, that it's going to be super thick and hopefully it'll be thin enough I can send it through the mail if I choose to but I don't know it may add enough dimension that you can't you, that you have to put the extra 20 cent stamp on that's a price that I've learned that I just often have to pay when I'm making my own cards that's just the way it is so looks like it's time to order more foam tape from close to my heart now when you're doing this in a piece that has this large of, a, of an expanse in the middle it's really important that you put an extra piece of foam in the middle otherwise it would be really easy if 
in the envelope or if especially if it was mailed that that center would get smushed um, and it might look a little bit strange so that's why I'm putting that second little area to provide some extra stability to the card in the center so that I don't have a problem in the future all right now we're just going to eyeball it line it up press it down and there we have super simple card now if I wanted to I could have gone just a little bit smaller and put another border of paper around it but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to detract from my sparkle and see how well that our shimmer our purple um, paper our sparkle paper goes with the dusty conquered ink it's a great match so there we have a really simple card that I just have in my stash for a friend at some point so thanks so much for stopping by today and remember take some time to enjoy the little things have a great day bye